So I'm calling this the TBA Pie Deck. This project came about when I found this device at Valley Village called a Projector View. This was a device for viewing or projecting slides. But I really liked the aesthetic. It came in a really cool box. And the first thing I saw when I looked at it was um, just a tiny computer. And uh, I felt like the retro aesthetic reminded me of the, the Time Variance Authority from Loki, uh, the TV show. So I wanted to make it into a tiny computer. And the easiest way to do that was to make it into a Pi Deck or a Raspberry Pi computer. So we got the full thing disassembled. I love these pieces. Um, I just want to, I really want to keep this switch. I think the switch is, is so nice. Such a nice switch. Uh, I want to try and keep this, uh, this back hatch, um, which fits in the back uh, of the monitor. And we'll give access to the electronics. That's the plan for that. Yeah, and the rest of it's just uh, pretty cool to take apart. Like this uh, is the, the projector unit with the light bulb and all the lenses. Uh, those lenses are pretty sweet. Yeah, and a lot of mirrors, some uh, other lenses. It's pretty fun. I might use it for another project. Well, now that we got this all taken apart, I'm going to put it back together. Uh, with all the parts I'd want to keep, we're going to build this, make this into a little pie deck. So it's not really a deck. Still can't decide if I want to keep this coating. I don't know, it looks pretty, looks pretty nice actually. It looks pretty sweet. Hmm. Hmm, I was really leaning against it, but I think it kind of goes with the goes with the vibe. Kind of all my ideas laid out here for the TVA Pi Deck uh, that I want to make out of this uh, this little projector screen. Basically, what I wanted was a little flip keyboard uh, that could fit inside of inside of the case easily, which was kind of hard to do. So I ended up finding this folding keyboard, uh, but I want to modify it to make it look a little more like uh, something that might be in the TVA. Uh, and then screens was another thing that was hard to find. You know, the screen is a 7 inch by 7 inch square, uh, but I wasn't really able to find anything like that. So what I ended up getting was uh, a couple different screens that are going to kind of be combined into this single square. And I think it, it will kind of look pretty cool. I think uh, having the multiple readouts in a single display will be a, a cool look. I have most of these things. I still need to get a USB extension. Uh, I need to pick up some of the GX12 connectors and the USB connectors, but I've got all the screens uh, So we're gonna try hooking those up and see if they work with the Raspberry Pi well, I got at least one of the screens working. Okay Works pretty good Now I Want to get the the second screen hooked up see if that one works. Nice, and then we got the little five-inch screen working here. Can't say this is the best keyboard I've ever used. Great, so now we need to get them working together. But in the meantime, I'm going to see about modifying the keyboard. So yeah, this is the kind of keyboard I kind of want to replicate. But I needed something so small to fit in this case. So I'm going for a, not the mechanical look, which is unfortunate because it would be nice to to have that mechanical keyboard. Maybe if I made a custom one, but that seemed like a lot of work for 
little reward. Even a 40% keyboard wouldn't fit in uh, in this case. Anyways, regardless, uh, I basically just want to replicate this color scheme for the keyboard. So now I got the uh, projector view uh, taken apart here. We got our screens. I'm going to try and see how um, we're going to be able to fit these together. This glass just doesn't fit. I'm gonna have to tweak that a little bit. Yeah, you can see it's quite blurry and even when it's pressed up against the glass right up against the glass it's still fairly hard to read oh yeah that looks so much better 
doesn't have quite the same appearance, the same look, but actually is a much more functional computer. Yeah, what I'm thinking is I'm going to redo once again for whatever the fifth or sixth time this screen plate seems like the best option right now. But everything else is coming together fairly well. wire up uh, everything for this uh, power module that'll slide into the bottom of the, the Pi deck. Uh, so this will take a little bit of doing, but uh, if you're going to, again, the, the method we're using to change between the AC power and the, the battery pack is a little rudimentary, but I think it goes along with the vibe uh, for the build. First one I want to do is measure out everything inside of here, um, make sure we have everything the right length and then start soldering and wiring everything up. It. I kind of did this in the wrong order because uh, these cannot come out now that they're now that they're soldered in here uh, the way this is designed. Um, it's not ideal, but I think we'll still be able to make it work. So yeah, sanding it up, painting it, uh, getting this front plate on, as well as the, uh, um, the power in connections to the actual computer here. So now what I want to do is clean this up and spray paint it a nicer gray that I think will match the, the pie deck a little better. And this part isn't a huge deal because uh, it will get covered by the faceplate um, and anything inside is not, a, not critical to be painted. actually fits in the box with everything in it. It's going to be pretty tight uh, with USBs and everything. So.
here we got everything hooked up, just powered by the batteries right now. So this is uh, this. just being powered off the batteries. Got the switch wired in. Screens being powered. Both screens are being powered off the battery in the Raspberry Pi. Everything seems to be looking pretty good. Yeah, so now all that's left is to basically a couple more pieces need to get printed. Need to make sure the screens all fit together nicely. Uh, and then we can do the final assembly. So I soldered the first one of the aviator connectors together, uh, forgetting that I had to actually put it through here first so that this could actually be mounted externally like that. So that's what I'm going to do, a bit of a pain, but hence is life. <laughs> I want to do is set the up this USB hub to plug into the aviator plug. This should be the last soldering step, hopefully. And then we'll just be able to do some more, a little more painting, a little more assembly, and it should be done. I feel like I say it should be done at every stage or uh, soon, but uh, this is actually getting close.
So I'm calling this uh, the TVA Pi Deck. Uh, basically, this project came about when I found this uh, device at Valley Village called a projector view. So basically, this was a device for viewing or projecting slides for a projector, probably from, I don't know, the, the 1960s or something. But I really liked the aesthetic. It, had, it came in a really cool box. First thing I saw when I looked at it was um, just a tiny computer. So I wanted to make it into a tiny computer cute little computer. The easiest way to do that was to make it into a, a Pi Deck or a Raspberry Pi computer. So basically uh, that's what I did. I, I stripped out all the internals, um, put in a, a little Raspberry Pi, made it uh, rechargeable and uh, battery powered uh, and I was able to run a lot of the, uh, you know, the connections from the Raspberry Pi to the external uh, computer like an SD card reader an Ethernet port, an audio jack, even some aviator connectors, which I, I thought really went well with the aesthetic. I'm just super happy with the build. Uh, and uh, one of the things while I was building it, um, I felt like the retro aesthetic really reminded me of the, the Time Variance Authority from Loki, the TV show. So I kind of rolled with that aesthetic for the little keyboard, which actually fits inside the case. Uh, as well as uh, you know, some of the external decorations, um, I think really w went really well uh, with the piece, and uh, I'm really happy with it. You know, it's a fully functional uh, little computer with a lot of cool features. Uh, one of my favorite parts is that you can you can open up the back. So this hatch was where uh, if you were if you had a slide in there and you were um, you were viewing it, if you open up this hatch, it would then project out the back. Uh, onto a wall or something like that, but this hatch works absolutely perfectly for just accessing the Raspberry Pi and the unplug the HDMI cables for the the front screens and plug in other other uh, screens or access the GPIO pins or you know swap with the SD card or something like that. I just think it's a it's it's very cool. I was able to utilize that feature uh, uh, to to basically to do that. So yeah, that's it, the, the TVA Pi Deck. Um, uh, in my mind, it would be, you know, like a, a field computer that the TVA agent would just grab and, and go, um, even though it's, it's quite big and, and kind of cumbersome, but I, I think it goes with the retro vibes. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm really happy with the build. Um, uh, really happy with the way it turned out. You know, I haven't made a lot of stuff uh, on this channel, but I'm always looking to get inspired and actually make new things and, and maybe record it and share it. So this one I've really wanted to share uh, and I'm happy to share it with you guys. Um, love to hear your thoughts on it if you like it. Uh, if you have any thoughts or suggestions on what can make it better or improve it. Um, or for ideas for, you know, future, future builds and uh, other cool stuff um, that I or anyone else could make. You know, I'm always looking for inspiration. So uh, if you like the, the video and the build, you know, uh, maybe like the video um, and shoot me a, a subscribe or something. That would be great. Uh, love it.